It's supposed to be about a man who can only feel through the characters he creates. You should be able to write the hell out of that. And without spoiling it for your viewers, you know, um, don't want to give away the ending, but there's certainly a bit of a detective story there for the audience. Um, things don't often seem uh, appear the way they really are. But it keeps trying to be something else. What? I don't know. Paul's very, very gifted at doing these multi-strata stories. They're very, very clever. What really attracted me to it was I've always admired writers, and I have a few writer friends. And to, to sit down in the morning and fill a blank page or a blank computer screen with words to pay your bills always just seemed terrifying to me. I write away what I know. And you know me? He's called Michael. My character's gone through a separation with Kim Basinger's character. And, uh, so all that was intriguing, and uh, to, to be holding a... Uh, a love affair with Olivia Wilde's character while you're trying to complete a novel. I mean, it just was profoundly difficult for anybody, you know. I don't know how autobiographical that may have been for Paul. I assume there's quite a bit of truth in there about himself and his relationships, but uh, it certainly was was a little bit daunting and, and fun to play. Is she having one of those days? Don't tell her about what you don't understand. Paul crafted this script with immense care, I think a lot of self-examination of himself and of men in general, of how we interact with, with women, the levels of vulnerability we may or may not have, the defenses we put up, men and women with each other, and uh, how uh, vulnerable, really vulnerable children can be when, when they're exposed to that, you know, when, when couples are going through a bad time, and divorce and separation and whatnot, you know. I left her two weeks ago. What did you tell her? That I'd fallen in love with someone else. <sighs> me? Oh, you loved me? I thought you loved her, that's what you've always said. I do. So this is the way you treat someone you love? <laughs> 